Well, hello, this is Shimonism Total Nerdy Channel, and I wanted to give you a little recap on what's happening on the Pandora Haven. And uh, as you might know, if you saw the stream or the stream archive, the Pandora Haven city has been moved over to the Illuminatis Exile server, where our co builder, Xabrakrau, is. Uh, a very prominent member, so we could um, have the opportunity to, well, for, for a while at least, uh, use this uh, Acetal server to build together with this, uh, onto this project, Pandora Haven, and also do lots of other stuff that, uh, mainly building, I guess, but uh, we have plans to make some cinematic productions in the future as well. Um, or I have an idea, idea, but uh, um, that will be needing to set in motion when I have uh, settled down in Japan, uh, where I will stay and study for a year. Um, I'll be going in maybe a month. So I'm extremely busy until that time, but I do my best to try to keep the videos up. Uh, this also means that uh, before, uh, when I go there, I will have none pre-produced videos. So you probably see a gap with no videos in a few weeks uh, when I'm settling in there, because last year I made some pre-production videos, so there will be a flawless transition, but I don't have time for that, I'm too busy right now. Anyways, um, I wanted to show what's happened on the Pandora Haven. Um, so basically, we have made a little dock here, as you can see. Um, a nice little dock. A public dock where you can, let's say, if we docked here, you can just go and you can hover up here. <laughs> Secret conspiracy meeting. Yes, I don't know about that. No, I did. Uh, and then you can just, you know, take a stroll and go to the turbo elevator, which is very fast, and it will go up here. To the docking plaza and accidentally turned on again because of the button placement <laughs> but I guess it works <clears throat> I kind of like the that it's you can see it's a shaft down um, so 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 um, apart from the docking area you can see here with a little storage thing it's only for show it's not actually docked it's only put there to look as if it's placed but it's not but it looks very cool um, I have made a little modular external station you can see that by the force uh, by the glowing line here it's actually outside the atmosphere but uh, or the field of the atmosphere that I have in this big box but it's an external station directly docked uh, it's made it's a GI, Geomodism Industries little station just. Um, unfortunately, I'm very annoyed because my text modules didn't disappear on the other things. It only disappeared on this for some weird reason. And I can't really tell why that is. You see, just this module, I don't know if it was too much information on the same place, just erasing all the text. But I have experienced this on to my single player as well, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know, it's really annoying. But well the interiors look the same. This is the absinthe bar, which would be would have been illustrated by a very cool sign. Uh, but oh well, oh well. Let's not be too bitter about that. I'm just kidding, I will be bitter about that, but um, anyways, there are double uh, entrances. We have a USD lock, we have a gravity automatic gravity and we have a faction pass so only faction members can uh, go here the elevator is not installed uh -huh. <laughs> anyways here when you go up onto the second floor 
you can look around here and you'll see this is a faction only access to a private room and for some reason this uh, text screen works don't ask me why but anyways oh this mushroom is upside down <laughs> Here you can enjoy a personal room, and there are, I think, three of those personal rooms onto this one. Then we have on the same here, we have the office, uh, three offices. Yep. And let's see here. Oh yes, and if you were live in the private rooms and work in the offices, you can go this direction to reach the bathroom auto door connected. This direction will have some food cooking places, we have more toilets, we have showers and we have observation place and a little spa with nice view. And this compartment is basically for those living in the private rooms and uh, need to have some fancy stuff, you know, basic human needs spa especially, you know. Uh, anyways, um, if you have faction access, you can go, or a faction access member, uh, private rooms could uh, be changed to public as well. Naturally, uh, anyways, this is the faction uh, service room, so you can see empty service corridors or heating systems. But anyways, you go here to the servers, um, we'll have some maintenance rooms. And if we go up here, we have double power cores for the stations and a little shield room as well. Oh. And for the regular workers on this, or I guess the regular GI personnel, you can go into this hallway instead. And down the hall, you can find three compartments of uh, nice looking bunks and a little relaxation garden with a nice view. We'll have the spa here. And another of those little nice fountains, indeed. Um, no, that's the same. Uh, this, however, we have the showers with a nice view outside. I don't know how you dare exchange in that room, but another bar, a nice little uh, cantina area, commons with hollow screen uh, and uh, medical bay in the end here and another server room, so that's a little compartment there. Now the really big thing I made, uh, I actually made it on this stream, uh, I made the uh, uh, shipyards or Vadev shipyard is just called Vadev in Swedish, so I wrote them both. Um, and I don't actually remember the reading, so I have to find that and write it down um, by a little text screen, as I usually do. You can see this shipyard is clearly built from uh, my modules that I have uploaded for making shipyards. It's fully working. It wasn't actually working before, because I placed this, I think it's kind of, you know, um, I only have half of these U-shapes uh, before, uh, and they were too par far apart. Uh, it's 50 meters, I think they're kind of 53 meters apart, so it was just a <laughs> fail on my part. So I simply doubled them and it actually looks quite nice. Well. Um, here we have the shipyard, which is faction access control, and this fa thankfully works. Um, anyways, you can reach this place by either a sorry, either a little space bike shuttle or space Volvo. You just fly down, park it there, or you can dock a USD compartment ship here and just go th straight. Um, through the airlock um, and you can sit in the garden between work passes so that's nice anyways uh, there is a wait what is this okay 
Uh, there is a long corridor at least, <laughs> a very long corridor, which you'll have to walk. walk. <laughs> um, and that corridor is uh, connected to the elevator, a turbo elevator goes up all the stairs to this floor here. And yep, on this floor here, you know, you have access to just go to the Moji Art or go down to the shipyards here. So it's a little uh, human base connection as well. Um, and that's for most part what I make. I have some few details uh, more, uh, but <laughs> uh, Xavo Crow has started to build onto the Illuminatis Exile, um, what is it, base? It's office, main office, yes. Hey, headquarters HQ, um, or I think this is the unofficial HQ because uh, you know I, I don't know about you. I think it's may, maybe only me that's kind of strange, but uh, this design is uh, it looks like a bar, and it doesn't actually look like any bar. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know why, but my first association was some kind of. Uh, Space Vampire Porn Club or something like that. Okay, I, I, I know. I'm probably weird. <laughs> uh, Cybercrow almost di died when I told him. But it looks really cool. It does look really cool. Um, but I think it's... I don't know. They should have some private rooms. Um, joke aside... I don't know if this will be the main office or if we'll, he will erect a larger office or maybe dig down into the bellows of, of the city. Um, but I'm sure you will decide. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's uh, not really done yet because, you know, logos and stuff. Um, but when I said that, uh, when I said my association, he added uh, this this uh, what is it? cages for humans, a dance floor, and and, and pool, and <laughs> even though you know it looks really great, I guess maybe maybe some railing on the roof so you don't fall down, but actually maybe not necessary, but. Um, well, it actually looks great. I love the pool. Um, so what's what has been more been happening? I think I've showed you this. This is absolutely not a Freemasonry uh, building. <laughs> it's it's totally not anything shady, at least, and it totally doesn't have a hidden. Uh, rooms of strange origin inside or anything like that. I don't know. There's some fancy pillars there as, uh, as well. Um, oh yeah, one thing I built. I built this little platform. I think it's a kind of observatory platform, relax hall, you know. Not a bar, strictly, but just Maybe a serving area is available or something like that, but it's not a restaurant, it's just public observation. Um, excuse me. Um, yeah. And you can see one thing that we also added. Um, we added the... Uh, Missile, anti-missile turrets. We have uh, six of them on each of the top pillars here. So I just choose my very compact design that has 360 degrees movement. So it's really, uh, it really make uh, you can you can see for yourself. It does a pretty good job. It just erases them far, far away. Uh, of course, there will be more anti-missile turrets, uh, but this is the beginning, and I wanted them to be not very visible. Uh, so we barely noticing them, even though they do pack quite a punch. So, yeah. Um, here I started to make the foundation for uh, an 
one big part of the bellows of the city uh, compartment. So I actually want the Pandora Haven to be two separate cities almost, uh, that is loosely connected by underground tunnels and shady docks. So we have the city that's top and then we have the city that's down below with under underground things. And it would be really cool if Xaver <laughs> actually wants to build a huge underground office, I mean. We could probably have a 50 by 50 by 50 box for that. <laughs> Why not? Uh, we we have we have si we have um, space to work with. Uh, hopefully, um, as I said, I I'm extremely pressed on time right now. I kind of want to um, spend uh, time outside the computer uh, as long as I'm in Sweden because you know I will be away for about a year or so sure wanna meet some people and family and stuff um, yeah but uh, well the city is progressing I think it's kind of cool that I've been doing this city for like I don't know one year one and a half year something like that just been adding a bit by bit but I don't get I, I never tire of it or not yet or if I tired of it on it I wouldn't have continued naturally but uh, it's it's still very fun and I love to see the city grow you know block by block but don't get the wrong impression I am not working every day on it it's just maybe one time every week I sit down and just something I want to add and I add it for maybe an hour and no basically so it way uh, it grows steady but slowly and uh, well you can actually download the city in its current form uh, if you want to have a look but yeah please do it's a uh, much to experience well, this is Jimmyism Total Nerdy Channel signing out. I hope you have a great time and, uh, well, see you around.